Today I'd like to do a quick tutorial video to show you how you could put emergency information on the lock screen of your Android device. This is a new feature with Android Nougat. I recently took a CPR class and learned about it in that class. Basically with CPR, after you've checked the scene, you check to see if the person is responsive. You're also supposed to check to see if they have any kind of medical information on them, for example, on a necklace or a bracelet. We could also check their smartphone lock screen to see if they've put it there to find out more information on the person, whether they have any kind of allergy, uh, what their blood type is, their name, emergency contact numbers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Again, this video will be providing the instructions using Android Nougat, otherwise known as Android N or Android version 7. I won't be providing the instructions for iOS users. I don't have an iPhone myself, so you're just going to have to check that out yourself. I do believe that they have a comparable app called the Health App, which has similar functionality to this. If you're not sure if you're using Android N, just open up your settings and scroll all the way down to About Phone. In the About Phone section, it'll list what the Android version is. Just look for 7.0 and above. The emergency information is most applicable to users that have a secure lock screen. So if you turn on your display, you'll be brought to a secure login prompt. And either you have to enter your PIN, a pattern or a password. This is so if you leave your phone somewhere just some random person can't start accessing your phone so you want to have a secure lock screen on it. On that lock screen you'll also see text that says emergency. If you happen to see that text just click it. By selecting that emergency text you'll be brought to a dial pad. Now Android includes this so anyone whether it's you or someone else can call 911 in an emergency situation. They do that for legal purposes. On this dial pad page you'll also see a button that says emergency information. You'll have to double tap that button to open up the emergency information. If this is the first time that you've opened up the emergency information section, all of this information will be blank. But basically there's two sections. There's an info section that has availability for your address, blood type, allergies, medications, whether you're an organ donor, and other medical notes. The other emergency information section is for contacts. You're able to pre-select what contacts that you would like to be able to be dialed in an emergency situation. For example, maybe your husband or wife or your parent. And whoever's just available in your contacts, you could add to this particular section of the emergency information page. It'll list that person's name and their number, and someone will be able to dial them without actually knowing your secure login prompt, your PIN, your password, anything like that. You'll be able to call them in an emergency. That's a basic overview of the emergency information page. Again, this is something that you might want to look for if you're providing first aid to someone that was unresponsive. They might have this configured on their smartphone device. This is also something that you could set up on your own personal smartphone device or a family or friend's device that happens to have special medical needs. Now let me show you how you can configure this page. First go back to settings and then select users. At the user screen, look for the text emergency information and select it. When you select it, a pop-up's gonna appear. It's gonna say, information you enter here could help first responders in an emergency with some additional information. Just press continue, and then you're gonna be on the emergency information page where you can configure it. From this screen, you'll be able to individually add all of the items listed in the info section, starting off first with your name. So when you select name, it'll open up a pop-up for you to enter in your name. When you select address, it'll open up a pop-up for your address, and so on. And we have blood type, allergies, medications, organ donor, and medical notes. In my opinion, probably the most important ones to list in there besides your name is for allergies, medications, and medical notes. With medications, that could also be useful for when you're going to a doctor's appointment and you have to remember all the prescriptions that you're taking at that time and the dosage. Uh, that could be handy in those scenarios. And then also with medical notes, you could provide a lot of text and verbose in there with regard to the specifics of your medical needs. Now let's select the Contacts tab and we're going to add a contact to our emergency information. So look for the text that says Add Contact and select that. That will allow you to include a contact from your contacts list to the emergency information. So choose whatever contact that you like to add, whether it be your husband, your wife, mother or father, just tap it and it'll be added to your emergency information contacts. You could add as many contacts that you would like just following this method. That concludes the setup of all of the information that you could choose to include on your lock screen. So if you just press the back button, that'll return you back to settings. 
And that's how you set up emergency information to be accessible from your Android lock screen. So if there's ever an emergency situation where you happen to be unresponsive and a first responder needed to learn a little bit more about your medical history, for example, they could possibly look at this section, find out more information regarding your allergies, medications, any kind of medical conditions, and proceed from there. They would also be able to contact whoever you have selected in your contacts list, for example, a family member, to alert them of the emergency situation. Again, I think this is a great thing that you could do to set up on your personal device in addition to any other family members that happen to have an Android version of 7.0 and above. Again, you could do the same thing with iOS. I just didn't provide that in this particular tutorial video, but you could check it out in an alternative video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial video on how to put emergency information on the lock screen of your Android Nougat device. So if you have any friends or family that have any kind of medical needs, I would highly recommend you putting this on their smartphone so that it could help them in case of emergency. So please leave your comments below in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.